content, travel content, all of that fun stuff, and I would love to have you join our little community here, so welcome. So it is officially day 26 of my 30 day healthy reset, and can you guys believe we are this far into this thing. Like I, I literally can't even believe it. Like there is, there is so much that has transpired over these 30 days. And I have been trying to keep you guys in the loop the whole way. Also, I hope you have noticed that I have more energy since the last vlog. <laughs> if you guys didn't already see it, go back and watch it. Day 24 and 25 were combined into one vlog because it was that time of the month. I just could not handle it. It was like quite interesting, but today I decided to put makeup on and feel myself and feel like I can conquer the world because I feel so, so much better today. And thank God, cause it was a rough couple days, but we're here, we're here in the thick of it. And we only have like, what, four days left? 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Four more days, you guys. This is amazing. Our consistency is there. We are powering through and we are truly creating real honest to God habits that are gonna last us through the long haul and that is the biggest reason why we're here. So thank you so much for joining me on my 30 day healthy reset. And if you guys are rocking it out with me, congratulations. You guys have made it 26 days and we are gonna keep rocking and rolling. So I wanted to do a quick intro for this vlog. I am already three fuelings in for day 26. And if you are new to the Optavia 5-in-1 plan, this is gonna be another full day of eating on my Optavia 5-in-1 plan. If you're just looking into the program, welcome. Welcome to my little community here. We are so happy to have you and we are gonna keep pushing through because we are on a mission to create a real healthy lifestyle. So 
three fuelings in so far. I've already had my golden chocolate chip pancake and my coffee. I like to do my golden chocolate chip pancake just by itself. I don't need syrup. I think it's actually really good on its own. If you have the chocolate chips in there, it makes it sweet enough on its own and it's absolutely delicious. Make sure you only waffle it in the dash for like a minute tops and it is perfect. Then I already had my coffee. I did my cold brew in a shake today because I know that coming up here, we're gonna be doing a quick lean and green that is actually gonna use my healthy fat for today and quite a few of my condiments. So I wanted to just keep my coffee simple today. I mixed it with a creamy chocolate shake in my Ninja kitchen system. Love that thing. That thing has come with us everywhere and it is absolutely one of my favorite things to have in the kitchen. And for fueling number three, I had one of the Campfire S'mores bars, which if you guys have been watching this 30 day healthy reset, you'll know that that is a fan favorite around here. So I am three fuelings in. I have been tracking the whole way in my fueling tracker, which shout out to everybody who has still been tracking this whole way on the 30 day healthy reset. I would love to see how you are doing in your fueling trackers. Make sure to tag me on Instagram, Ashley N. Kisner, and use the hashtag 30 day healthy reset. I'd love to see a picture of your tracker. I wanna know all the fun colors you're using. I wanna know which journal you got, all that fun stuff, because I have been doing this every single day and I am powering through just like you. So we are here on day 26 and I wanted to really quick cover something new that I added to my fueling tracker today, which you guys probably saw it in the clip earlier, but I just wanted to kind of give you a bigger scope on kind of what I wanted to add into my fueling tracker so that I can have a constant reminder. So as I was going through that time of the month during this 30 day healthy reset, one thing that I really started recognizing and remembering is my why, because those couple days were rough, you guys. <laughs> there were so many reasons why I felt like it was justified for me to break plan and so many reasons as to why I felt like I could just have a day off or things like that. And that's what really gets us sometimes, you guys, especially during that time of the month when you're just like, I deserve something. I'm in so much pain, I'm so frustrated, I just want something, right? That's when we really have to start remembering our why. And for you, it could be your why or it could be your goals. I'm starting to feel like my why and my goals are kind of one and the same. Because your goals or goals that you're going toward or goals that you have in your life are generally why you are going forward. So a lot of those things kind of coincide and I feel like my why is much more pertinent in my life than realistically goals. I feel like I wanna stress the fact that my why and everybody else's why could be different, but also you can have multiple whys. There can be a lot of different reasons as to why you're wanting to create a healthy lifestyle for yourself. There can be a lot of different things that coincide with that, right? And I just really wanna stress to you guys that number one, it's totally okay to have multiple whys, a lot of different reasons as to why you want to create a real healthy lifestyle. Number two, I feel like that why, the one that you are attached to at least for that day, needs to be deep down to your core important. Like something that gets you up out of bed every day. Something that gets you motivated and keeps you on that train, even if it's that time of the month and you just want something, you know what I mean? Really, really wanna stress the fact that you can have multiple whys. You need a why that is deep down to your core, meaningful to you, like something that truly resonates with you. And you don't have to tell this why to anybody. You could keep it to yourself, but it needs to be something deep. But it needs to go deep down into your soul so that you resonate with it and you can connect with it to keep you going. Last but not least, I think that why needs to be something that we think about every single day. And that's why I wanted to change up the way that I'm doing my fueling tracker. So if you guys saw in the clip earlier, I already added it to the top of my fueling tracker just for today. And I'm probably gonna keep doing this moving forward, but this is the first time I've added it. And the reason why I really felt like I needed to do this is especially on those days where I was like really, really struggling. I was like, man, you know what? There are so many things that happen throughout the day, so many distractions and so many excuses to where I feel like I forget my why, right? Like I have to remember why I'm doing this. And the thing is, if I don't constantly remember those things that happen throughout the day and those things that just come up randomly, for some reason seem to be more important than what I set out to do in the first place. And you have to, have to, have to remember your why from the get-go, from the minute you wake up through the entire rest of your day, especially on those days when it's the hardest. So that being said, I have officially added something to the very top of my fueling tracker and you guys will see it 
it's my why and I have a line specifically for it and then I start the rest of my fueling tracking and I really thought about this I was like what is the best way for me to make sure that I remember my why the whole day ding 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 Let's put it in my fueling tracker and let's make it the very first thing that I fill out, right? And then now every single time I need to complete my fueling tracker for the day or fill in my lean and green or fill in my fuelings or anything like that, the first thing I see is my why. So no matter what's going on, no matter what's happening in my day-to-day -day life, my why is right there at the top and I need to hold on to it with dear life. <laughs> So I just wanted to let you guys know I have slightly updated my fueling tracker and if you guys want to do the same changes with me go for it just after the day of the week and the date just write my why and add a line so you can add in your why for at least that day what is motivating you what is making you excited to get out of bed that day and crush it that's exactly what I'm doing and you guys will see that my why today is to have a body that can carry me through the Grand Canyon right so if you guys have been watching this channel, especially throughout my 30 day healthy reset, you'll probably know that Zach and I are like kind of gearing up for a big hike. And we have some friends coming into town that booked this hike for us. And it's not necessarily like, I don't think it's in the Grand Canyon, but it's like right around there. The Grand Canyon is obviously huge. So there's a lot of different like hikes you can do throughout there and in that area. And so I, when I initially heard about this and I, I initially heard that we were going to be doing something like this, my gut instinct was like, oh my God. <laughs> I literally was like, I don't think I could do that. Like, I seriously don't. Like, even though I've been losing weight and even though I'm feeling good, I just don't think my body is ready for something like that, right? I don't, and also, if I'm going to be going with my boyfriend and some friends of ours, I don't want to be like the one holding up the group. You know what I mean? I don't want to be embarrassed on this hike. I don't want to be feeling like I shouldn't be there. So that's why my why today, and at least for the foreseeable future, is I want to create a body that can handle going on a hike either through the Grand Canyon or somewhere around it, in the Arizona heat, in the desert. I wanna have a body, a machine, that can power through something like that. And that's my why for today. So I wrote it at the top of my list. My why is I want a body that can carry me through the Grand Canyon. I don't wanna be the last in the group. I don't wanna be the one that can't keep up. I wanna be the one that is leading the pack and going forward because I have a body that can get me there. So. I highly recommend, I just wanted to touch on that really quick today, add in your why to your fueling tracker and see how your thoughts throughout the day change. That's what's been working for me and that's what I'm gonna continue to do as I go through this 30 day healthy reset and as I continue on my Shalise health journey. So wanted to give you guys a quick update on that. Also, since I haven't gotten to update you, I've been kind of waiting to open these packages but I had a couple more packages come in from Prime Day. I know you guys have been kind of seeing what I ordered, all that fun stuff and I wanted to show you what I got. I did also get a couple things that are Optavia related, so I figured that would be fun to open up on camera. I've been slowly ordering some things specifically for our hike so that I have the right clothes, I have the right this and that and whatever. So I picked up a lot of stuff that was like super on sale for Prime Day. This is the shirt that I picked out for the hike. I wanted something that wasn't gonna like, you know, keep me hot. I wanted it to be like sleeveless so that I can also like make sure that I'm not getting too sweaty or things like that. This is a water resistant top, as I've heard. Pink, because that's like basically my color. And I figured this would be really cute. I also have some black pants coming in to come with this. I ordered some really like heavy duty hiking leggings. So I'll let you guys know when that comes in, but this is gonna be the shirt. This is the brand, oh yeah, this is Champion. So I literally just got this off Amazon and it was like, I think like, like $7 or something, super, super cheap on Prime. And then I think it's thin enough so that I won't get hot. So we should be good on that. And then I, I bought these pants just for fun, just because one of the girls that I follow posted that these are like really comparable to Lululemons. I was like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. And they were on sale for Prime Day. And I don't know why, I just felt it, but they're camo. <laughs> I don't have anything like camo. I think I have like one shirt that's camo, but I like have not really gotten into the camo side of things. And these are like coming back into style. Like have you guys been seeing camo everywhere? I think that's so funny. So anyway, some camo leggings just for fun. If we go on like a second hike or anything like that or something that we just need an extra pair of pants. And last but not least, I believe this should be the most fun package that I got. I'll show you guys. So one thing that I've been seeing going around the Optavia community is 
mini spatulas. So if you guys see when people waffle their golden chocolate chip pancakes or their brownies or things like that, generally a lot of the batter gets stuck in the bowl or on the spoon and a lot of people end up investing in like mini spatulas to make it easier and get all of the fueling batter off. And I figured, you know, I've been kind of eyeing this for a little while, so I pick it up on Prime Day, and they were super cheap, and I wanted to try them out. If I like them, I will let you guys know down below. I'm gonna link all this down below in case you wanna try them, but I'll let you guys know just because I've heard that this makes it so much easier to waffle things. Look at them, they are so little and cute. They are rubber on the ends and wooden stick and what's cool is it comes with a bunch of different colors and a bunch of different kinds with a little ring so I can hold them together but this is like a general spatula in orange and then we've got kind of a spoon in this like coral peach color and then this is like a baster almost. What do I usually use? If I ever do like buffalo cauliflower, this is like really good if you have one of these. I have no idea what you would call these, but these are like two other kinds of spatulas. We've got like the teal and the pink. And then you can put them all together and we've got a little ring that keeps them so that you don't lose them and they kind of stay together. Perfect. So now they are all good to go and I can keep them together, especially with us moving and just trying to like keep everything packed and all that this is perfect so i figured i'd pick up something fun on prime day i've been eyeing these for a while and these are supposedly a staple in the optavia community just to make sure that your batter doesn't get stuck in your dish or you don't have to wipe off the spoon with your finger things like that these are supposed to be a game changer so i will try these out and let you guys know what i think other than that, I think it's about time for me to get started on my lean and green meal for the day. If you guys watched my meal planning video earlier this week, I did a meal plan and Saturday's meal was scheduled to be my spaghetti squash meatball marinara, which is absolutely delicious. I have a full recipe on my channel and I'll make sure to link it right here so you guys can check it out to see the step-by-step -step version. But we're gonna make that today. I'm gonna make it for Zach and I so that we can have some of that for lunch. It's gonna be delicious. And honestly guys, just for the record, if you are like hesitant on trying out spaghetti squash, just take the plunge. It is so, so good. I really wish I had tried it earlier on in my journey because it is delicious and I for some reason was like, oh gross, spaghetti squash. No, 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 this is the way to go. I've tried the Hearts of Palm, I've tried Zoodles. Spaghetti squash is very much my favorite and I highly recommend you try it as well if you haven't yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that. I'll show you guys how we do it. I'm gonna make it for Zach and I to have some lunch here and I'll bring you guys along for the rest of our day. I'm gonna head to the gym, do all the things. So I'll keep you guys posted. Thank you so, so much for watching this video and happy day 26 of my 30 day healthy reset. Let's get started.
are made, ready to go. One for me, one for Zach. This is the spaghetti squash meatball marinara and so, so good. Like I said, highly recommend using spaghetti squash and also the Trader Joe's frozen turkey meatballs. So good, so easy. Literally just have to pop them in the oven and while the turkey meatballs cook, you can prep the rest of the ingredients, really easy. I'm trying out this new marinara today, the Newman's Own. I'll let you guys know how it is. And this is gonna be delish. This counts as a full lean and green. So the green is coming from the spaghetti squash. We've got a cup of spaghetti squash and one quarter cup of marinara sauce, which is our third green. That's all three greens. Our lean is going to be the five turkey meatballs. And because it's a lean, we don't need to add any healthy fats today. So that's why I did my coffee and my shake this morning. I just blended it together to try and save on condiments and healthy fats because I knew that that was gonna be in this recipe today. So the lean is gonna be five turkey meatballs. And then this is also three condiments. So we've got salt, garlic, garlic powder and Parmesan right over the top. You obviously could do it without the Parmesan, without the salt or without the garlic powder, but I do really think the spaghetti squash needs something just to make it a little bit more flavorful, but totally up to you guys. Like I said, make sure to check out the full recipe video on my channel because this is a game changer. It's one of Zach and I's favorites and we're probably gonna munch on this. I'm gonna finish up some editing, head to the gym and I will bring you guys along. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two Hope you're fine, ain't got time To do everything you said you would Frames of the past and The memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days With your smile in the park How could they say I was broken? They say you made me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them To be cool, even wear that shirt you wanted to My friends think I'm lame, since I met you I am not the same It was not meant to be a fairy tale with a happy end Girl you take care now, I hope we can be friends from the gym actually snuck in a 10 minute sauna session which was really nice i love it when i can get that in did 30 minutes of cardio that was nice the gym was like pretty much empty because it's saturday night <laughs> and it's always like so strange i'm like oh yeah everybody's out socializing Eh, it is what it is. So just wanted to sign off with you guys. I got everything tracked today in my fueling tracker. I got all my fuelings in. I got my full 80 ounces of water. I used all my condiments and didn't need a healthy fat today because it was included in my lean portion of my meat in my lean and green. And I'm also currently having fueling number five right now. I'm having the chocolate fudge pudding. And shout out to whoever on my channel commented saying that they refrigerate their chocolate fudge pudding for like hours before eating it and I've started doing that and it is so much better like it really is also I'm super seeing how my eyeliner is like really screwed up right now I think it's because I got in the sauna just ignore that we're not gonna look at it anyway I have been having my chocolate fudge pudding and leaving it in the fridge for a while and it is absolutely delicious so this I made earlier this morning and left it in the fridge pretty much all day which Maybe it's too long, I have no idea, but the consistency is like thick and fudgy instead of like the normal chocolate fudge pudding if you just make it and eat it. It's good, it's like really good, but it's like kind of like whipped almost, if you know what I mean. Like if you make the chocolate fudge pudding and just eat it right then and there, it's like a whipped consistency. But if you leave it in the fridge for hours, it's so, so good, it's like thick. You guys can see it's like like stuck to the spoon. So, so good. So this is gonna be fueling number five. Other than that, I have everything else taken care of for today. I am feeling back in routine after that uh, situation that happens every month. Not fun, but it always happens and it's a part of life. So as long as we can get back on it, as soon as it's over, 
that's what counts. So I'm here to show you that I can do it, and if I can do it, you can do it too. So I'm gonna keep trucking. Also, I really like the leggings. Camo leggings, did not think that would be my thing, but uh, they're actually really comfy. And these are, I looked at the brand again, they're just like Amazon essentials and they're really comfy and like super affordable. So I will link these down below as well. I'll keep you guys in the loop on what's happening this week. There is something pretty big happening tomorrow, so stay tuned for that vlog. I'll keep you guys updated, but signing off for tonight. Thank you so much for watching day 26 of my 30 day healthy reset. If you guys like this video, please like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload because I have new videos going live every night this month and you do not want to miss it. So thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Could they say I was broken?